Hi, I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about causes of frequent vomiting in babies. Now, the most common cause of frequent vomiting in babies is something very, very normal, gastroesophageal reflux. Now, when it gets bad, we call it gastroesophageal reflux disease. Why the distinction between GER and GERD? Well, it's not always a disease. Babies are going to spit up. It's normal. In fact, we've learned that the process may actually help take good bacteria that are present in the mother's breast milk and disperse them throughout the airway so that they can help the baby fight disease. So next time you're having to change your clothes, your baby's clothes because of spitting up, remember it is serving a purpose and you know when we evolved we didn't have clothes to wear in the first place. So it wasn't a big deal at the time. That said, sometimes gastroesophageal reflux can become problematic. It can cause pain, poor feeds, airway congestion, cough, wheezing, poor weight gain, chronic crying. In those cases, we want to treat it. Talk to your doctor or uh, search for some other discussions that we have on treating gastroesophageal reflux disease in your baby, because we've talked about this one a lot. Um, there are other causes of frequent spitting up in your baby. One is overfeeding. If you have a newborn who's taking four to six ounces, that's too much. Your baby's going to get some of that back. You're talking about a stomach that's the size of a walnut. You just can't put a bottle and a half of milk in there and expect it all to stay. Likewise, if your four-month-old is taking eight ounces at a time, again, it's unlikely that, that is all going to stay down. You want to break those feeds up, shrink them up, give them a little bit of time to digest between the feeds, maybe even add rice cereal to the feeds so that your baby can take a little bit less feed each time and have the same number of calories. Now, there are some more serious causes of frequent spitting up in babies. Especially in the first six to eight weeks of life, babies can get a condition called pyloric stenosis. This is where the muscular ring that keeps everything in the stomach from going straight into the small intestine grows enlarged and doesn't allow food to pass. These babies will get progressively worsening vomiting, and the hallmark of this vomiting is that it is excessively forceful. Now, any baby may spit up you know, a few inches away from their body. But if you've got a baby who's spitting up literally for a foot or more across the room, that's pretty unusual. That's what we call projectile vomiting, and it makes us think about pyloric stenosis. Likewise, these babies may start failing to gain weight or even lose weight. They may seem chronically malnourished or chronically fussy. So you want to get that baby into a doctor to get examined. There's also a problem called volvulus or malrotation, in which the intestines are not actually folded into the abdominal cavity the way they're supposed to go, and they may twist on themselves at times. When that happens, it may cause vomiting, and it may be intermittent. It can be a hard thing to catch. The doctor will often uh, order a study where the baby will drink a radio-opaque contrast that we can then see on x-ray films as it goes through the intestines, and then we can see whether the intestines are put into the belly right or whether they got a little folded up or twisted up during development. Now, another thing that may cause uh, some intermittent vomiting that's life-threatening is called intussusception. This is where part of the intestine telescopes down inside another part. That can also be intermittent. Babies with intussusception will often have blood in their stool, even stool that's covered in blood. We call that current jelly stool. They may be very, very unhappy. They may cry inconsolably, but they may also vomit as part of this presentation. Now, babies certainly can get viral infections in the intestine, a gastroenteritis gastroenteritis, or they can get bacterial gastroenteritis. Even nursed babies who would seem to have no source for salmonella can get salmonella infections. I've seen that. So if your baby has sudden recurrent vomiting, if you're worried about dehydration, if your baby's not peeing at least three times in 24 hours or at least one time in eight hours, certainly have your baby evaluated because the doctor is going to be able to tell hopefully what some of the causes of the vomiting might be and come up with what we might need to do to keep your baby safe. Talking about causes of recurrent vomiting in infants, I'm Dr. David Hill.